watching. Hey, I want to watch the, the news. Are you making? Are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack 'em a gob. It's time for the only news that matters. And Wolfgang Van Halen has explained why he doesn't want to put out any unreleased Van Halen material following his father's passing. Eddie Van Halen sadly passed away in 2020 and Wolfgang has shared that his father's put out everything he thought was worthy. Hence why any demos or unheard of tracks will more than likely remain that way. Wolfie's own band Mammoth WVH recently put out their second album, Mammoth 2. Surrounding its release, the rocker has reflected on a lot of his father's legacy and career in recent months after using some of his famous guitars to record the album. Speaking to Brave Words, he explained, I think what was released is what was released. And even in my dad's own words, when he talked about it, he's like, I released all the good stuff with David Lee Roth. I put that part in. The stuff that's there is the stuff that fell by the wayside, which some people would probably find it uh, worthwhile. But without dad here, it feels unfair to make that assumption that anything should be. Like, that's a decision that can't be taken lightly. The guitarist also shares that if he has absolutely had to put one of his father's tracks out there, it would be a very tough call. He says, I think that's all up to Al at this point, he states. If it ever came down to me, yeah, that would be a tough decision to make because in dad's own words, you know, he released what he thought was worthy. I really don't appreciate when you see certain artists pass and you see the families go through and just kind of release everything. It's like, that's not right. To me, it's not right. Yeah, I see where Wolfie's coming from, and I'm a very selfish person that I would love to get some unreleased Eddie Van Halen stuff, demos and stuff. Uh, but I understand where he's coming from, and to me, man, thinking about all the artists that died and then they released stuff they recorded in the studio that was never released. None of it's really impressed me much. I mean, compared to what they did when they were alive. Except for Jimi Hendrix. I did love a lot of those Jimi Hendrix songs that came out after he died, like Room Full of Mirrors and stuff like that. Just awesome stuff. And if Eddie had some awesome stuff like that, that would be great to be released. But, you know... Who knows? I, I don't know. Jimi Hendrix was a guitar player and singer. So who knows how good those demos and stuff would translate with me if the singer's not David Lee Roth. That's uh, just my own personal opinion. I don't want to hear nothing unreleased from Van Halen unless it's an instrumental or with Dave on vocals. Sammy Hagar sucks. And I want to thank you all for watching the only news that matters. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click the little like button. And Because uh, if you do the like button thing, it's really good for the YouTube algorithms. And click that little bell for notifications. Please subscribe to my channel, I beg you. And I also beg you to stay frosty and listen to Black Sabbath. And smack him a gob. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get canceled, check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with me and Wadzilla. We are the Podcast King. Link to the podcast is in the description below and also a link to the YouTube page. Check out older episodes with visuals. 
And very soon, either Ian and I will learn how to go on YouTube Live. Might be soon. So check out the greatest podcast ever, according to science.com. It's also God's favorite podcast and Satan's favorite podcast as well. So check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast before we get canceled. <laughs>